Hello friends, my name is Shrikant and today we will be solving this problem of the grid search in this hacker rank. So basically we are given a 2D array of digits. Try to find the occurrence of a given 2D pattern of the digits. So here is the pattern uh, input in which we are given some characters uh, okay, and uh, in, a, in 2D and we have to find this uh, two dimensional uh, pattern within this array okay uh, so the number of test cases can be maximum of five and rows and columns of the input array and the pattern array is within these limits okay so the basic uh, stub code is already given which takes the input so this is the number of test cases and for each test case you input the take as input the row and column of the input array and scan it to a uh, character array basically two dimensional character array in which which can also be simulated using vector of strings okay and uh, we take this uh, array as input here similarly uh, we will take the pattern array as input in this p okay now what we will do is we, we have to print yes or no whether the pattern is being contained in the input array okay so we will declare one function uh, contains okay and we will pass this uh, g p and uh, number of rows columns of g and number of rows columns of p to this function okay here we are calling the function now we will declare the function we should return uh, which should return a boolean variable okay whether the pattern is there otherwise yeah contains uh, so we will pass this uh, vector as a reference string g comma variable and uh, vector of string p comma int r comma int c comma int small r comma int small c okay now we'll uh, first we'll have two outer loops which uh, will specify the first uh, row and first column or where we are starting the search okay so for example if you are starting the search from this row that is row number one and column number three okay so row number two and column number three so i and j will contain uh, that information and for each such character we have to scan this uh, whole uh, array to match with the current input okay this array so that will be small r and small c okay so basically we will have four for loops in this okay for int i equal to zero i less than capital r i plus plus so now one trick here is we do not have to go to the full length of the uh, array so basically uh, so if we are uh, so if I take the example of this one we have to go only up till this row because this uh, this whole pattern contains of three rows there is no need of going beyond this row to check so the outer uh, i will only have to go till this one so that will be uh, less than equal to r minus r okay similarly for j we will do the same thing j equal to 0 j less than equal to capital c minus small c j plus plus okay now we have from this we will get the starting position of the character array where we have to search the 2d pattern now for each such thing we have to uh, check match with the 
uh, match both the arrays okay so that will be done through another two loops int k equal to 0 k less than equal to r k plus plus so this is the number of rows of the pattern okay and uh, for int equal to 0 error l less than equal to sorry it should be less than only not less than equal to that will be so if the number of rows is 3 so we will go through 0 to 3 okay and l plus plus okay so we only have to check uh, whether uh, there is some element which is not matching as soon as we get that element which is not matching we will exit out of the loop and say that uh, it doesn't matter this pattern doesn't match for this combination of i and j okay we'll move further to the next item so if uh, g of i plus k not equal to p of g of i plus k and uh, j plus l okay not equal to p of k and l then we will make a flag is equal to true and break we'll flag it true and it means that we have found a non-matching character okay so it br this break will break from this loop we have to break from this uh, k also okay so here we will check if flag then k okay so this will break from this loop of the k so it will go to the next input if this doesn't happen it means that uh, we have we have found the pattern okay so now what we will do is we will simply check so uh, the first thing is we have to declare this uh, flag variable bool flag okay and at the starting of each iteration of checking okay this loop kind of uh, checks for the pattern okay so before that we will have to make flag is equal to false it means uh, and if the flag stays false after this loop okay then it means if flag stays false okay that is not flag is true then return true we have found the pattern okay true means if we return true it means we have found the pattern okay and if uh, we cannot find the pattern we will return false okay here what we will do is simply if contains so if it is true we will see out yes okay and, and new line since there are many test cases else see out no okay yeah i think uh, that's it uh, we'll try to run it on the sample test case uh, just one thing missing here you have to add an ampersand okay now we'll see if this code works properly or there is some compilation errors okay oh yeah we have uh, uh, successfully passed these two test cases okay now we will submit this code and see whether all the test cases pass yeah. so 
it's still fetching the test cases just a few more seconds yeah we have passed all the test cases okay thank you for watching keep subscribing for more thanks